Virgos, this is your song for January. And I'm all cried out in this cloud. So you guys were hurt. And it was written all on your face. And we have the world here in the Doreen Virtues deck. But in the traditional tarot, the world has the same four fixed signs as the Wheel of Fortune. So you started a cycle and now it's come to an end and it's um, a elevation, a promotion, you might say, of the soul, which you see in physical form many times this represents a house especially with the empress for me maybe some of you have a beautiful home others of you are completing something but this completion is going to then move you back to a new start with the fool something that's fun uplifting so you've been promoted you've completed the karmic cycle you decided that you didn't want to accept a love offer that was not balanced. And you made a judgment about a situation. Then you begin to try and look at things from another perspective because I see that some of you are wanting to hold on to something. You want stability. You want a family. But I don't know if you're with the person that you can have that with. Because there are, there's just, your instincts are just saying something to you that at this time you're trying to still fight for. But I see that some of you are really thinking about um, well, there's two sets of you. One set of you, you're going to just kind of move on, maybe away from a Pisces, or let me actually clarify this. It looks like some of you left a bad situation where there were a lot of lies, narcissism, dishonesty, and you kind of move forward, but I see that for the most part you guys have been liberated from any type of fantasy beliefs about that situation. And consequently, as a result of you completing that karmic cycle, you really open yourself up for something so much better. See, the thing about it is, Virgos, you guys have to be of service. I mean, like, other signs don't really have to be of service like you guys. And if you're not in your purpose, then you're going to, um, is there any more teen there? Just a little bit, no? Just a little teen, teen, a little bit. If you guys are not, like, fulfilling your purpose of helping someone, then you go get an emotional cripple to help. I mean, I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings if you're a cross watcher, but you know, Virgos, I was reading the Astral Twins um, astrology guide about Virgos, and they were giving examples of how Virgos will just choose the craziest person that needs the most amount of help and basically just stay there to fix them. 
Yeah, that's the thing, though. As long as the Virgo can fix you, they'll be there. You get just a little bit too much better. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but that's what the astral twin said. And so it's like you just kind of felt, some of you felt like this was a real nut. And I think you just accepted that the lunacy here was something that was beyond your control. We talked about this in November. Remember? Okay. And it kind of, you kind of feel like maybe this person needs just a little bit more help than what you're able to give, like maybe some type of psyche, yes, some type of psychotropic drug um, for their lunacy issues. I guess there's another way of calling it mental health issues, but it's just that the Luna is moon in Spanish, and that's how I remember it. But anyway, I feel that you're going to give this person to God. You really are, because I think you're going to really accept that I just can't help every damn body. And, you know, I mean, some people, okay, are just beyond human help. I know, I know, Virgos, you don't want to hear that. I know, I know, I know. But sometimes you just got to hear some stuff that you don't want to hear. You know? Okay. Let's see what else we have here. They um, know that they need help, and some people, some of them, you know, are trying to get the help that they need. It was something about this situation, you maybe taking the high road and walking away, or maybe you're the cross watcher, or you took the high road and walked away. It's really making them see the light, okay? At first, they felt like you hurt them. It felt like you were being crude and rude. I have to, um, yeah. They felt like you were, stop, stop. Come on, get down. They felt like you were being rude and crude and that, and hurtful. Um, because it was three people in a situation and at first they thought that well maybe if anything you could at least be their friend but instead communication was stopped oops another card and it took an unexpected turn for the worse for them they didn't understand what was going on they didn't want to lose your friendship at all and so now they're really hurt um just so deeply deeply hurt because they feel like losing you felt like um, just a loss. This is the same situation. We've been talking about this since October or November. November. So there's see, so you guys, this must have been a major relationship if the person is still tripping. That was what two months ago, three months ago. You know, how air signs are. Oh God, glad that's over. Just kidding. That's, that's not true. <laughs> well, not all the time. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah. So, this might have been a significant lover or situation. Or maybe you were significant to them. But it was like you guys, they wanted a third party. Or maybe you wanted a third party. And somebody wasn't down with that. So, they stopped communication and decided to win by walking away. And maybe this was their energy, Virgo. Um, but somebody decided that stopping communication um, was a way that they were going to stop somebody from inflicting pain on them. Because this is inflicting to me pain in myself. And when it's reversed, somebody else is inflicting it on me. That's how I read that card. So they, somebody felt like, you know, a love offer wasn't received. It inflicted pain on them mentally. And, you know, it was a third-party situation. And they thought that maybe in time it could just be two people, but it became evident that, um, you know, this person had a family and they were going to really try and make it work with their family. And so then somebody stopped communication and somebody was just shocked. They were just done. I'm, this is the same thing. This is like, you know... Somebody was just 
just like they didn't think that you would be able to do it because as far as they were concerned you guys were going to do whatever you guys were doing until the end of the world you guys wanted different things here you know so this could have been a Libra a Aquarius and Aquarius a Libra and Aquarius or a Gemini who um, you feel like you know you lost but you're trying to look at things from a different perspective or maybe they're trying to just understand now, this does not resonate for everybody these are the overall energies you know as I say Virgo and the Tarot it may be you the energies are interchangeable it could be Big Bertha down the street that knows the Virgo that you know but somebody is feeling like this okay? but I think Virgo um, it's whomever is not ready to let this go so if you're ready to let this go then this is not you but you know somebody really didn't want to let you go because they do have feelings for you and they and their partner you know um, they, they do other people like that's how they roll and they thought that maybe you know since you were on the bandwagon that you rolled like that too but you know there was still like a lot of deception and lies because if they knew that you really rolled like that then they wouldn't have to be lying to you or you know so somebody just got focused and very clear that they didn't want to be bothered with the nonsense anymore and it just left the other person I don't think the other person I think that um, it like things they things hit them a little slower than it hits other people so you could potentially have been dealing with an earth sign here in the middle you know maybe a Taurus Virgo Gemini uh, or potentially a water sign or a water sign had something to do with the conflict um, but anyway it, it hasn't hit him yet that somebody and this is for those of you who are tired but those of you who have decided to leave a situation like they kept on saying oh okay she tripping she tripping okay maybe she got somebody and they gonna balance out and then she gonna understand what's up and we gonna start talking again right but they don't understand that you don't want a friendship okay no no you guys want different things that's what it is because see as long as they got this jumping off there really isn't anything else to talk about and so they're not really understanding that because maybe you came in one kind of way but whether they understand it or not um, you bounce and you're not looking back there's no need to look back for what to be a part of a third-party situation you know Queen of Cups talks reverse talks about how it really emotionally unsettled you and you were trying to figure out how to make this person love me and it wasn't that they didn't love you it's just that you know that you know that's how they roll they roll with three people like that and that just it's not what you want you want your twin flame and so this person is still trying to hold on to you to put you back into you know the third party situation and you know you feel like oh baby you dreaming keep on dreaming baby one day you're gonna wake up and um, yeah this situation was like uh -uh, I'm, I'm better than this I deserve better than this but this kind of like your attachment style it's you might want to take a look at what turns you on because it looks like madness might turn some of you on like you know there is a clinical healthy thing that you should be attracted to but that don't get you hot you know madness gets you hot and then you get mad at the madness for making you hot but it, you know the madness is just the manifestation of what's, what type of attachment style that we got jumping off in ourselves okay so yeah because like this is like for me like a, an illusion card an addiction to fantasy uh, an addiction to um, just bad relationships cups that are all just crazy you know like instead of the cup being simple or two of us and or the family it's like Martians are around and it's lit this one is lit and it's just it's too much so it just kind of looks like at the root of this, um, let's see. Oh, okay. It looks like some people don't want to get rid of the bad style of loving. 
some people don't want to get rid of the bad style of loving. Like it feels good because it makes you feel alive. Some people are addicted to the blood spilling over and getting hurt over and over and over again. Um, but for some reason, at by the end of January, you guys have a rebirthing, like an illumination with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands overcomes issues. Oh, oh, you guys are going to put it this way. Maybe some Leo Aquarius Sagittarius is going to inspire you to take the reins of your own life. You're going to be in control. Look, see all this stuff that you can't see the reading, huh? Okay. Her, her, the way that she's faced is in, is complete opposite of all the other cards because this is the final answer. She's like, forget that. That was yesterday. Today's a new day. And in this new day, I don't have time for the badness. And, you know, one of the things I think, Virgos, is like, again, if you guys are not being of service, uh, maybe in a way that makes you feel good, then you're going to go and get a nut and use all your energies to nurse the nut back into sanity but um because the need for you to be in your purpose is so strong that if you're not in it you feel sick so something is going to happen where maybe you find some type of passion or your the path is illuminated and the queen of wands she takes action so you're going to be taking some type of major life altering action to to build yourself up in a way that you're going to feel good inside of you and maybe attract someone who you can help but not you know like i feel like there's a very different form of frequency of attracting the moon and attracting the sun for a partner okay this is hot this is if you're sick then the moon feels good but i think you're going to find out there's a higher way and see you know this is the god card and God is the most high God, right? So no matter how low you can get, how low you can go with um, just getting really high off somebody, it's not as high as following your values and honoring who you are and what you really want to, you know, who you want to be in a relationship and how you want to contribute to somebody else. But anyway, I do feel that somebody is really missing you very deeply very deeply and they really regret they deeply regret they wish to god they knew what to say and what to do to make things right with you um they are still going to hold on to the belief that oh you'll be back because some of you you get angry and then you go back others of you don't but um they're in order to not lose their sanity they're telling themselves things like, oh, she'll be back, she'll be back, or he'll be back, she just tripping. Um, and it looks like they're really going to live in that fantasy for a long time because they just don't want to let you go. And then um, one day when they're ready, when they're ready, they're going to see that you're gone. And one day when they're ready, they're going to hold on to you coming back for a long time because... If they really accepted um, what's going on right now, they would have a really hard time with it. So, yeah, it looks like, you know, when they're ready, they're going to start moving into acceptance. Also, um, they may come back to offer you something that is more balanced, you know, in the future. But I doubt very seriously that you would. <laughs> it would be interesting. All right. That's some of you. All right. God bless.